Heidi Ho, last time we talked about how X-Men is a fail as a metaphor for racism, but this vid is about where X-Men is a great success and makes a perfect example of how to write great ethnic characters. You see, I used to love the X-Men cartoon, and my favorite X-Men was always Bishop. He has a cool background, he's tough, has a unique hairstyle and tattoo, a sweet mutant power, and he also happens to be black. And I mean that. He is a fully realized, three-dimensional individual for which his race is only one aspect, just like people in real life. And he's not the only one. Depending on what you watch, Jubilee can look black or Asian or some combination of them. I never actually figured out her ethnicity, but it's because her character is defined far beyond that. She's the rookie X-Man through whom we meet everyone else. Both of these characters fit perfectly in the story, and also, I've never heard anyone complain in any way that they're racist. Now, on the other side of the coin, what makes things actually seem racist? Well, in the last video, we mentioned that it's saying or implying that race causes different traits in people improperly. But there's also dismissiveness, acting like the people in question don't matter. In stories, this feeling is created most often when characters are defined by their ethnicity. Whatever your ethnicity is, the novelty wears off pretty quickly, and it just becomes one aspect of your existence that only occasionally matters. Thus, when a character is defined totally by their ethnicity, it's unrealistic. People feel angry because it shows that the writer actually doesn't pay much mind to the people in question. Similarly, since racism comes from assigning traits improperly to people by race, we all sense racism as soon as someone even starts grouping people by race, even before they make any judgments about those groups. Anybody can get it. Africans, I just beat the f out of a Mexican. Oh no, 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 come on. Which brings us briefly to Anthony Cumia, a radio host who just got fired for a racial rant he made on Twitter. His opinion of his words is different. It wasn't racist. There is a huge violence problem in the black community. But hopefully it's clear at this point that he's wrong. He not only categorized, he went whole hog and assigned traits too. So what do we learn here? Well, beside the fact that characters work best when their ethnicity is secondary, it's also true that those characters, the ones who violate stereotypes, are the most interesting. Which means that that extra care in creating them makes for much better stories. Talk to you soon.